Hi, I'm Milton Aidy. I just love burnouts. I'm Kerry Digney and I too love burnouts. This is the Burnout Track. It was purpose built at the Epic Centre in Canberra. You're watching the Yokohama Burnout Eliminations video for 2001. We'll, we'll be, be your commentators, commentators for the Mobile One Racing Burnout, Burnout Competition. Competition. Remember, the Summer Nats is brought to you by Street Machine Magazine. Supported by Rare Spares. Enjoy the ride and stay tuned for some classic burnouts later in the show. This is Nick Berry from Oaks Estate and Nick Berry is very good. He certainly is. We got plenty of instant smoke, we got instant plenty of smoke. We got constant smoke, we got driver control. That's what the burnout competition is all about. Now put your hands together for Nick. That is a good quantity of smoke. That is a big delivery. This is a big bag of smoke that you got here. As it was back gently. Smellingly. It is. Why is it some of it smells really good? Some this is known as OD tire thing. Ooh, yep. We can't see there. much, but we hope that wasn't a guardrail. Certainly making lots and lots of smoke. Ah, oh, yeah, we're getting a few revs in there now. That sounds a little bit more like an angry, angry engine doing a big smoky burnout. That blown engine might be getting a little hot. Had to have a little bit of a coffee. He didn't lose any continuity though. The smoke kept coming. It's down there now. Charming. Good finish. Good finish. Put Good your finish. hands together for him. Oh, oh yes, the mighty Mopa. A little bit of motor power. That is one strong sounding Chrysler. Anything with a Chrysler star on it has never been short of horsepower. Never ever. Per cubic inch, they made good stuff forever and a day. Right yep. back to whenever. That's a proud old car, and isn't it not cooking them, Kerry? Isn't it ever? He's given it some. Perfect control on the donut oh, yeah. Let's go around the other way. As I said, there's those charming numbers. number plates. Pop the tyre. Inside 60 seconds. He's done a good That's got to be seconds. good. Put your hands together. We'll take him back on Sunday. What a terrible, terrific tyre turner. Brett Woods from Camden in New South Wales. Was out there doing all kinds of good things in the go to Woe and finding his feet in the burnout eliminations. Brett Woods from Camden. Down in the day, I've had milk. He's really doing a good job down there too. Out there where they had the original good sheep farms a long time ago. Are we smoked in or are we he smoked knows, in? He knows his way around a donut pad, does this lad. Evidently, he certainly does. He has done this before and he's doing it well again. Okay, let's have some thumbs in the air for Brett. This is a goodie. We want him back on Sunday. I would like to see him again. This is something worthwhile. Yes, sir, Bretsky Woodski, you've had your 60 seconds and man, you're in the program. We like him. Come back and do it again. He's just going to take a little bow, Milk. Yeah, he's going to take a little kiss of the fence there, all yeah. right. A little kiss and a little bow. A little smooch into the guardrail. Yep. 
Man, he has smoked the place in like you oh, would believe. Yes. Oh, yes. You bet. You're welcome back, Brett. Come back Sunday. We want to see. Give him a cheer. That was a good one. Yeah, put your thumbs up. He's definitely coming back. Running around inaccessible places in the world. But here at Canberra doing all kinds of strange things. I reckon the British Army back. might wouldn't mind buying one or two of these. Especially with this kind of engine, it would have been a hell of a lot better than the Land Rover. Yep. Like Not there's anything wrong with Land Rover engines, but for burnout competition, they ain't very successful. Have a look at the size of the gas tank in the back of this thing. This thing's on LPG, you've got one underneath, and there's one across the back. They're absolutely drowning. Designed for fast trips across the deck. It's a bit of a leak. Does this guy do it for you? Well, the British Army never did with this with them, but then again, you never know. I've never seen the car park in ages. I think he needs a little bit of encouragement. Oh, You've gone all quiet on us. guy's put on a fabulous show the last couple of years. He has yeah, been... I thought it was worth more than that. Yeah, big cheer. First time I saw it, I just couldn't believe it. I Absolutely I said insane. Seen this he would have been truly amazed. Absolutely yeah. insane. Certainly doesn't mind oh, giving the old trees for a What a thing. Oh, oh yeah. Just give her yeah, a bit of a smack there. Smack Take a bit of signage. Now. Doesn't really matter. It's time for a classic. And here's Wayne Butler and his HB Tirana. It's Summon Ats 11 and he lets fly. from cows in Victoria. Smoking them up, trying his chance to get into the Noble Race, Noble One Racing Burnout Competition. Well, doesn't matter whether we look, or we look at the monitor, we're totally smoked in, Milk. Absolutely, totally smoked it. Yeah, we get a good view of smoke wherever we look. Yeah, doesn't matter where we go. We get live smoke, we got broadcast smoke. smoke. We've got all kinds of smelly good smoke, here. black smell smoke, really white smoke. smoke. Actually, this guy's got really smelly tyres. Yeah, we ought to go on there. I can't smell anymore. Pop one, nice one. Good one, Andrew Neely. Good one. Do we want him to pop the other one? Get into it, Andrew. Oh, he's just only got wheels left. <laughs> Thank you. 
following in the footsteps of formerly or former famous Wagga residents. They build them up in Wagga Wagga. They sure do. Yes, comes from the Myers School of Burnout. Do not spare it, lean on it really hard, supercharge it, drive it forward and give it heat. Yeah. And wing the ring out of it. I mean, yeah. rev it hard. They have rings in them on every piston, lots of them. Oh, listen oh, to that good. little engine thing. go. Good thing, my son. Oh, Ricky Thompson, we love you. Is that a whale on back? Come what? on, folks. What else do you need? Give him a thumbs in the air to bring him back. How much can a tyre take? It's almost like what? How much can a koala be? Ah, oh, good. Give one. him a cheer. Yes. That was good. Yeah. So it's not a toy. It's a fair income drag bait, drag race bike. And of course, Mad. It took us 20 years to get him to admit that his name was Ron Laycock. It was always Mad. That was the only name we knew him by. Name fits. <laughs> sure does. You want to see him on a sidecar in the dirt? That's something else too. Wait for this one. Just watch this. A little bit of liquid in refreshment. How's that for a party trick? He told you the guy was crazy. <laughs> Just oh, light up put, the track. Don't put water on it, it'll go out of it. It'll go out. All the way. Hello, I'm here. Yes, sir. All the way from WA. And Debbie O'Rook, wife of, is the fastest woman tin top driver in the country. She run a 6.8 in this car. The terrain. That's a wild piece of machinery. They must love the wheelbase in this. Absolutely. Is this car full on or what? Keep black all the good gear. Three-speed link A. It doesn't want to it around it. Oh, that was a big rev. Oh, yes. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. The fire's out. Give him a cheer. He's fired it up again. Gee, that was a quick start. Thank you very much. Thank right. you, Grando Rook. Put your hands together. Now, listen up. Listen up. We have an, uh, an announcement we want to make. Jack's back. Brett Stevens, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. Is that all right? What do you think about that one? All you got to do with Brett is put someone else out there that tries to steal his thunder and have a look at the show. Red Stevens just fanning some smoke out of the car. If there's somebody else in there with him, hey, hey. Oh, yes. There's somebody else in there with Brett. We don't know who won that run. No, that's on Sunday. There on his own. I think that was worth a little bit of a clap and a cheer. He needs a little bit of encouragement. You're sort of yeah, quieting down one. there a little bit. Yeah, he don't like quiet people. No, he likes you to be rowdy and noisy. He's come to the right place. Sure has.
Boston. Oh, look where it is. Oh, was that close? Oh, what? A 2,000 horsepower door slammer. And have a look at him taking a bow every direction. What an awesome car. Yes, the girls are giving away free. Free tattoos. Free, free oh, stick on yes. tattoos. Kerry Digney's having his privately fitted tonight. <laughs> want to show you an encore performance and all I'll say is Gary Myers. We've had many burnout masters in the past. If there ever was a king of burnouts, this is the man. Oh, the Yoko smoko meter is off. It is off the scale, Mel. Gary Myers' signature just completely fills the place with the most. Wow. Is this man the king, or is this man the king? Does Myers do it this year in the Mobile One Racing World Championship under Spirit World Championship burnout competition? But if Gary Myers was the Mobile One Racing World Burnout Champion first time, it would be well deserved. This could be the Mobile One Racing Burnout champion of the world, and he's driving a Ford. That is it. Myers is just uh, something special. <laughs> we only have about another seven left to run. But if, if there's somebody else better than this, they better be damn good. Oh, dearie, dearie me. It's all up to the judges. But I've, uh, I keep my own personal score, and that doesn't count for nothing. That's one, one gone, win. that's one gone, that's one gone. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Two minutes, two, two minutes, and he's popped him. He's gone over the turn. Look at that rubber in the middle of the track. He's still on it, don't he? I don't think it's got any wheels left to get it off the track. Oh! And he and he goes out the back. All hail the king! All hail the king! Oh! <laughs> I was just told that was a brand new set of tires on that car. All the starts with a brand new set of tires with the labels on. Tires are gone, cooling system's gone. For the rest of this thing is a pretty thing, and he is about to lean on it real fierce. From Kangaroo Flat in Victoria comes Jeremy Newman. That's an angry little late model engine. That sounds really good. That is a nasty, nasty car. He is giving this a bit of a break by telling you. He is Yes, sir. He is a car. He's not afraid to stomp on that goat. He's a goat. John Edison, Jeremy Newman from Kangaroo Flat. In Victoria has been here before and he's welcome back. Get a balloon. Well, the ball was lost in the fight. Just lost the lost the flight knowing where the fence is at. You got a pretty car like that, you're not banging off the fence. Put your hands together for Jeremy Newman from Kangaroo Flat. We want him back. You come back Sunday, boy, you're welcome. Do it again. This is brand new engine, so Tony says he's going to take it easy, so that probably means nothing under 7,000 revs. Tony got the running order. Tony's Two-step, what a man!
and he's from Blacktown. <laughs> he comes from Blacktown, which is just up the road from Parramatta. <laughs> Doesn't mean a damn thing. Who cares? Him. What a man. But well, what a crazy man. Look at this. Everybody has their own style, like we said, the big fat Chevys that do it slow and lazy. Other people get really inspired. I don't think there is one person in burnout competitions anywhere in the whole world that gets more inspired than Tony Oliveri. Oliver, Tony Oliveri, what do you reckon for that little minute? How was that for 60 seconds of good stuff? Yeah, you want to see more of that new comeback Sunday? We've got bags of it. Come on, he needs a little bit of encouragement. You're pretty quiet. That's a pretty awesome burnout that you're seeing in front of you there now. And such a big car. And he controls it very, very well. Yep. He's hammered it, hot job. hammered it all the way to the donut pan. That's two tons of motor car. They're, they're not light. And using his 60 seconds to advantage, I guess that we'll have Jason Taranto back. His brother Michael is already in, I guess. Yep. Jason Give him Taranto. a chair. Give him a chair. You're a little bit quiet down the bottom end there. And we got we the line up there. He's, He's doing interest. a good static. He's going to sit there and cook him. Yeah, he's going to take a bow. He's going to cook him. There's some tread. A nice slow circle. Just trying to burn the tyres right off the ribs. Some people say this is stupid. Some people say it's imbecilic. Some people say it's madness. And it is. It's all three of them. Very good thing. Give him a big cheer. That one. was good stuff. Shane von Borstel came here before and he did this. And I reckon he's been practicing. I reckon he might have. Have a look at this. He certainly does not spare it. Shane von Borstel from Albion Park in New South Wales. There are a few Albion Parks in Australia. And I guess the Mira does the two stack. This has got to be the wall. You are definitely coming back on Sunday. Oh, oh yes. Son. Now, 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 General Motors fans, here's one of General Motors finals. Five litre, early motors are. Mark McTiernan from Albion Park in New South Wales. Lots of guys from Albion Park here today. Must be an invasion. I don't know what it is, but where's that totally smoked in? Cannot see a thing. I'm glad we have a periscope and a television set in here. Really it. There we go. Big. Well, 180. We can't see you, but we can see what he's doing. We've lost our video. Yeah. And there's some of that super sauna. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, now do we want him to pop a tyre? I think you already may have. I think Would you like him back on Sunday? Yes, we'll definitely take him. Thank you, Shane McDermott. You made good use of your 60 seconds. Thank you, I've had enough. Good night, I'm out of here. Lots and lots and lots of smoke. Pretty good car control. At least we can breathe some air, it's going down with him now, that's really great. Exciting, isn't it, folks? Now, just to show you how classy we are here at the Street Machine Magazine Summer Nats, we've put together what we call a colour piece. Enjoy it.
encouragement. I really believe he needs some. Um, yeah, he needs, needs a little bit more, I think. Just got to keep him moving. Lots and lots of smoke. Car traveling very, very slowly. We have no idea where he is. We can't see him this way, and the camera can't see him the other way. But he's in there somewhere. Oh yeah, I just saw a glimpse of it just then. Absolutely no problem smoking the whole place in. 
and moving down the track at a reasonable pace. So when they do it pretty fast, you know there's a fair amount of horsepower there. Those tyres are saying, oh, let us out of here. We have had enough. And it just shows you how sick it's getting up there. When they start to screw like that, they don't want to turn it off. They're trying to hook up and drive the car. So what you do, you can push the rim. No way, you're out of here. Pretty good effort, pretty fast, pretty wild. Oh wow, this is that engine go up there in the rev range. He's really winging it. That is what you call digging a view. Cannot see the officials outside. Have no idea where you are. I've got some video coverage on the on the monitor. Lots and lots of tyre smoke. But the crowd can see you, and that's all that matters. And so be real careful with that bonnet up like that. It could come up in your face. He's got it on the red trim limiter. I can see the the light on and the back over here. Yeah, he probably needs a little bit of encouragement. I mean, there was nearly enough smoke, wasn't there? I reckon that was pretty good. How about you guys? Do you reckon that was good enough for Sunday? Thank you, I thought so too. in Chick Henry's video vault, I found this very interesting clip. Bill Stonebridge, the 86 Eastern Nationals, custom EH, look for a young Peter Fitzpatrick getting really close to the action.
Steve at Titcomb. I was right from Wodonga. This HQ Premier, he really does know how to do a burnout. He's got him a light. Running at about uh, five and a half thousand revs as we look through the window and saw the taco. Can't keep secrets from us. We've got the best cameraman in Australia. Doing it pretty easy. Lots and lots of smoke. Are you enjoying that smoke up there? I mean, it's for free. And if you've got to smoke, smoke tight. Jeffy gets better once you wind him up a little bit. We had some Murphys here a few years ago that used to do some pretty wild burn burnouts. Little cars, so maybe that's the significance. But at the moment, boy, does he like winging that engine and turning those tires. Had a little pick up earlier on. Justin Russell. Encouragement. I really do. He can see you all, he probably can't hear you. Oh yeah, he throws it around all right as well. Nice little 360. Fantastic for a burnout car, this type of car, because you can see exactly where all the ends of the car are. That's when you're not covered in tyre smoke. But uh, far better vision than uh, most of the conventional type like, cars. Uh, he's at the hot rod. He's having a good time. And he's out there playing lots and lots of smoke now. And, uh, probably fulfilled all the criteria that's required to get you here and get on Sunday. Give him a cheer, I think that was a pretty fine burnout.
And would you buy this car from a second-hand car salesman? Big for sale sign on the back. Certainly does a good smoky. Doesn't do a bad skid at all. Lots and lots and lots of smoke. Wafting away. Actually, you don't get an appreciation of just how much smoke there is watching on the video monitor. Yeah, and they take that cut shot up high to see how high that smoke's wafting up in the air. One pretty good burnout. A year or two wouldn't go astray. That was pretty good. Oh, something went then. Give him a cheer. The eight mounted mid midships. Anthony Formosa from Currents Hill. It's a little uh, Mazda E 1600. And uh, Anthony had a little practice in the go way. Wasn't bad either. Obviously, this little car is built for one thing fry in the hides right off the back of it. And doing a pretty good job of it too. Having no trouble keeping those alive. It's got a tail shaft about oh, 18 inches long, the old money. Not very long at all. And he is just frying those tires off this car. You better give him some encouragement to move down the track a little bit. We can't see too much. I'm sure he needs some encouragement. Whoa! That it sounded nasty. That was a tyre blowing and hitting against the uh, tin guards. Absolutely destroyed that one. There goes the other one. Oh, oh. Not bad, 60 seconds. Anthony, we think you've been waiting all day to do that. just keeps coming, doesn't it? Here's a classic. Shane Kramer loses his cool in his big block 460 Ford. Well, we can feel that all the way through the floor of the tower. We can't see anything yet. strong so far. Shane no, Kramer, okay, South man. Australia. As he's came around the door, taking his picture as he goes. Shane Kramer, don't fail me now, engine from Elizabeth in South Australia. Got a 460 in it, so it's got a big arm. Does the 360s, no problem. Yes, this is definitely one of the strongest performances so far. Definitely you better believe the it. Strongest performance. Going the other way now. Come on, you better cheer him on. Yes, sir. Really giving it to him. That's an aspirated engine. He's doing a fine job. Well, those tyres are. Uh, they must be just about at it by now. Whoa! Expired. Boy, he had a good time, though.
yes! Is that a rev or what? I think Mark's trying to tell us something. I think he wants to be world champion in 2001. Boy, is he winging that 351 Cleveland with the blower on it. Thank you very much. I want to tell you, we've seen it before this truck. But boy, is it a tough one. And they are big tires on the back of it. Real hard. Yes, we have. We knew who it was all the time. Mark Yardy from Yonora. Plays hard in this truck, is Mark Yardy. Spoke to Nick down there. We don't know where he is. Just letting that Dwayne engine idle around and keep turning the tyres. Absolutely no shortage of horsepower. Just this car says I'm going where I want to go. Got the hang of it a little bit now. And that's a pretty fast trip down. Oh yeah. Threw it around down there. He says I can do those 360s and 180s. And it's a little story. practicing this once or twice. Oh, yes. Oh, was that close or was that close? You can't really tell through the tyres, mate, but he's definitely done one or two burnouts in the past. Totally smoked it in down there. Has absolutely Brian the hops. Oh, yes. Doesn't even like doing that. Taking a bow. You want this one back? You better start cheering if you do. That was a pretty wild job. And it was a good little burnout. I think I've had a look at the rear end of more cars tonight and today than I have in the last eight years. Oh, must admit, I don't find it all that much fascinating and I'm just waiting for bits and pieces to come through this purse mix here in this caravan. So far, we've been lucky. Must have been when it started to vibrate with the jet, I was a bit worried. But we hung in there. Give him a cheer, he's trying real hard for you. There's a fair bit of smoke down there. Certainly has got some skill in handling the car. Right along the back arm go in the uh, donut pad. Pulls the car around, gives himself some room. Another 360, thank you very much. Lens. We always have at least one, so the gods will be applauded. 
pleased. Appeased. And I'll tell you what, for a little uh, rotisserie, this thing do makes lots of smoke. And after this, it is the last run. This is the last run? Okay. This is the last pass. So you better decide if you want to see this car back. Pretty awesome stuff. You better give him a cheer if you want to see it back. What bad was it, eh? Talk about breakdown barriers. Thank you very much. Thank you for being such a good crowd. We'll see you all back here on Sunday. Well, son, we having fun yet? I see it, but I don't believe it. The conditions out there are really testy. Well, to see you pass the test at the Mobile One Racing Burnout Champion of the World competition, get your copy of the Brute Horsepower video, 14 video out soon. And if you want an in-depth look at the burnouts and the babes at Summer Nats in 2001, grab your copy of Just Burnouts. I hope that last guy got his run put on the tape because I could do with just one more burnout. <laughs>